Hey folks, good morning. Happy Tuesday, August the 29th. Good to be with you. Hope you're off to a good start today. Uh, we're back. It's good to good to have a little weekend getaway, but it's good to be back with you. And uh, I'm going to hop on here really quick and try to share the video. Um, there we go. And, and, and there we go. Done. Okay. Um, yeah. Good to see y'all. Tuesday, August 29th. And as we are sitting here, we are waiting on hurricane or storm or whatever uh, to come through, right? Uh, I was going to say the name, but I forgot the name. So, eh. uh, looks like we are out of out of the main path. It could still shift, right? Um, so if you have if you have any last minute stuff to do, you should probably get it done pretty quickly now. Um, if you can find anything. <laughs> so I haven't even been out. I don't know what it looks like. Uh, we're not too concerned over this, um, where we are in, in, uh, in, in, in Kissimmee. So, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. Well, it's good to be with you. Uh, I have my uh, tiny cup of coffee, my espresso today. So, mm. <sighs> it's so good. All right. Let's get into this. Uh, a couple of jokes, right? I should do a couple of jokes. Now, I do have to say, uh, Martha Reed, if you guys don't know who she is, uh, I'm super choppy this morning. Awesome. If you don't know who Martha Reed is, Martha is uh, a, a lady at our church um, who has a gift. Uh, no, it looks like the internet is actually fine. I wonder if it's your connection, Angela. Um, but it could be, who knows? Uh, she, she, she's a card writer and, uh, she asked if she could do something and, and, and well, what are your strengths? What are your gifts? And, and so she writes cards to everybody and she gave me a card for my birthday and uh, actually a joke book <laughs> and, and I left it in my office. I was going to use it. I left it in my office this morning, so I'll have it Thursday. Um, but, uh, so some new, some new material. All right, new materials coming really quickly. Um, but I have a couple of jokes for you now, all right? Have anyone, any one of you ever used WD-40 to get rid of mice? Um, mice, mouse problems, you know, mice problems, meeses. Um, but if you have trouble getting rid of mice, WD-40 can work. It doesn't really get rid of the mice, but it stops all the squeaks. <laughs> get it? All right. I don't have an audience here. Everybody's not, they're not here. They're not up yet. They're not getting ready. So, all right. And, uh, I think I told a joke a while back about oil. I wanted to apologize about my joke about oil earlier. Uh, it was, it was kind of crude. It was kind of crude. I'll, I'll make sure they're more refined in the future. <laughs> that was a funny one too. All right. Last one. Did you know that 90% of bald people still own a comb? It's true. Like 90% of bald people still own a comb. They just can't part with it. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Enough of that. Let's jump in and do our devotional this morning. Uh, one more one more sip of, of the uh, nectar of, of the gods. Mm. All right. We're going to talk about uh, relationships. We kind of been a little bit about relationships, uh, but also about fear and what fear <laughs> Buddy likes that one too. I bet he does. Uh, what fear does to relationships? You know, if you want to connect with someone, you need to be willing to take that first step. And this often requires courage, doesn't it? It takes courage. Uh, it's fear. It's the opposite of courage. It's fear that disconnects human beings. You know, one of the most important parts about uh, what we do in churches is we build relationships. Not on Sunday mornings, not on Wednesday nights. That's where we that's where we refine. But the church is to go out and build relationships. And when we're full of fear or anxiety or both, it's difficult. It's difficult to get close to others. In, in fact, what we do is we back off. We're afraid of being rejected. We're afraid of what others might say. We're afraid of being vulnerable. We're afraid of being hurt. Uh, and all these 
fears, what they can do is they cause us to stay disconnected from others. Remember, we're called to go out and to, and to tell the good news and to build relationships and bring others into the family of God. But if we let fear control us, we'll never, ever build those relationships. In the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve gave us an example of really what most of us do when we're afraid. After they sinned, God came looking for Adam. and Adam told God, I was afraid, so I hid. Genesis 3.10, I was afraid, so I hid. See, people have been doing that ever since. Ever since that, people have been doing it. We're afraid, so we hide. We hide our sins. We hide our true selves. We don't let people know what we're really like. Uh, because if we do, and they don't like us, we face rejection. And so we pretend. We put on a mask. Fear does three terrible things to a relationship. And I want to go over the three things just really quickly. Number one, fear makes us defensive. You know the worst way to share the good news of Jesus is to do it in a defensive way? <laughs> Fear makes us defensive. When people point out our weakness, we retaliate. We defend ourselves. We get emotionally hurt. The second thing is that fear keeps us distant. It keeps us distant. We don't let people get that close to us. We withdraw. We kind of hide our emotions. If we're going to share the good news, the, the hope, the love of Jesus, we can't remain at a distance. And then the third thing is that fear makes us demanding. It makes us demanding. See, the more insecure we are, the more fearful we are in relationships, the more we attempt to control things. We try to have the last word. We seek to, to dominate the conversations. We have to have all the answers. We have to know it all. And so it makes us come across as demanding. That's not a way to win others to the family of God. So, where do we get the courage? Where do we find the courage to take that first step and, and to connect with someone and go to a deeper level of a relationship so that the hearts can be opened and the love of Jesus can be poured out? Well, we get it from the Holy Spirit. We get it from the Holy Spirit. This is our passage of scripture for the day. I want to put it up here. It's a little bit longer, uh, so the words might be kind of small, but I'll read it to you. And if you, if you want it, it's 2 Timothy 1.7. 2 Timothy 1.7, and this is out of the Living Bible. It's a great first-time Bible for someone that you're going to give to, uh, put stuff in plain language. But 2 Timothy 1.7 from the Living Bible says this, For the Holy Spirit, God's gift, does not want you to be afraid of people, but to be wise and strong, to love them, and enjoy being with them. That's who we're called to be. This is, this is how we're called to operate, with the infilling, with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so we have to ask some questions. When was the last time you asked the Holy Spirit to fill you up so that you could be the person that you were called and created to be? You know that when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you're more courageous. <laughs> when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you're more courageous. You're courageous. You're courageous in, in, in building new relationships with others. When you're filled with the Holy Spirit, I think we love even more than what we're capable of in ourselves. When we're filled with the Holy Spirit, we enjoy being around people. Not just Christians. It's easy to be around Christians. You know that? But you enjoy being around all people. You're not afraid of them because God's Holy Spirit is in you and you begin to see others the way he sees you and them. You love them. The Bible tells us in 1 John 4, 8, God is love. And that love, he tells us a little bit later in 1 John 4, 18, that love casts out all fear. So I want to ask you, is, is fear the thing that's stopping you from being a light in a dark place? Is fear the thing that's stopping you from being the evangelist in your workplace or in your circle of friends? I want to encourage you, if, if it is, if it is, seek more of him. Ask for more of the Holy Spirit, more of his love in your life. See, the more of God, the more of his presence, the more of who he is, the less fear has an opportunity to get a hold of you. 
Wouldn't it be cool if we had a, uh, a, a, a body full of, of courageous, fearless, Holy Spirit-filled, loving believers? We could change our world. Well, guys, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Um, make your last-minute plans. I think it's going to start raining this afternoon sometimes, what they said. Who knows? Who knows? That could all shift too, right? Uh, but it's good to make plans. So make your plans, get your stuff set, and uh, we will keep you updated about uh, what's happening tomorrow for activities. I believe uh, today the schools have said all afternoon activities are canceled. Uh, we don't know about school yet tomorrow, so we can't answer uh, whether we're going to do popcorn or snow cone just yet. Um, and we'll watch and see how it goes uh, about Wednesday night. I think we'll be in the clear Wednesday night for our for our Wednesday night activities. Uh, but, of course, we want to make sure that everyone's safe first. So we'll make sure and, and update you and let you know. Um, but uh, trust in him. Don't let fear control you. Uh, love others. This is this this actually these next couple of days are a great opportunity to love others and to show them the love of Jesus because fear is is all around us. Uh, take that opportunity to love and uh, looking forward to seeing you again when we gather back together. All right. Uh, I'll remind you again Thursday, but but this Sunday we're going to start a new series uh, talking about. Uh, having a firm foundation, being firm in who we are because of who he is. And we're going to be walking through First Thessalonians uh, for a couple of weeks together. All right, guys? Uh, love y'all. Appreciate you. And uh, looking forward to being together again. Remember, if you have an opportunity today, which I know you will, because people are out there and they're scrambling. But if you have an opportunity today, find that opportunity to be a blessing to someone else because he's always a blessing to us. All right? Love y'all. Appreciate you, and we'll look forward to seeing you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.